Morning um, from the UK Martial Arts Show, and I'm sat here with Grandmaster Sken. Good morning. Morning, and Grandmaster Sken's been involved in martial arts for a long, 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 long time. Um, I remember being about six years old and wow. watching, him, uh, <laughs> watching him do jump spinning kicks, yeah, okay, picking yeah, yeah. apples off swords. Um, yeah, yeah. Would you like to tell us a little bit more about when you started martial arts? Well, it, to start martial arts, I was two. Wow. And now I've been doing now about this year, going to be 62 years. So I'm wow. 64 this year, so, and a uh, long time. But <clears throat> like I say, martial art is uh, it's a way of life. And uh, so you gotta really uh, not just like it, but, love, but it. love it, you know, so that's what I've been doing so a long time. And uh, in UK now, I've been about 41 years in UK, okay. and I'm still actively teaching, and I love it. Yeah, because so you teach a lot of classes yourself. Um, as you yeah, know, I teach, I teach uh, still less than before now. I used to teach in Manchester <coughs> 10, 12 hours a day. Now, the four or five hours a week, okay. sometimes busy on Saturday, uh, two to eight hours on wow. Saturday. But the other day is just more chill out and enjoy life. Yeah. Not, uh, I would say, busy living, not busy yeah. dying. Yes. And enjoy life, you know. So. Enjoy it. Chai yin yang. Yes, that's it. Was Thai boxing the first style that you ever did, or did you do any other styles? Yeah, of martial I do. Arts? To begin with Muay Thai. Yeah. And when, uh, you know, I moved uh, to Bangkok to study in P University. Mm -hmm. And then I moved to the east of Thailand. I met a Korean master who was teaching. Uh, the American commando, and he's very good. He open mind. It's about uh, what he teach. He was teaching uh, taekwondo, mm -hmm. and he does some technique applies very similar to Muay Bara. Mm -hmm. And when I saw it, I, I quite like it. And he said, "What I teach here, this is realistic uh, for taekwondo, it's similar to Muay Bara." So I yeah. said, "Well, that is up to my knowledge." And so I train uh, taekwondo as well. So that's why, like, you've you've done a lot of. Um work like not workshops but the demonstrations yeah. over the years yeah. um they've been like some of the world's most renowned Thai boxing demonstrations i think mainly when you were kicking things off blades yeah um, it hung, it's it. on my technique to become more uh, fluidity and uh, apply into some technique uh, similar to my brown but take mm -hmm. on the kick it become really uh, beautiful technique and yeah. style and then i add to that and it can become a quality of or uh, the hallmark of my demonstration. Yeah. So that has come about. Um, do you think martial arts has changed from when you first came to the UK uh, to now? Like, do you think um, it's being taught differently now, or do you think? Yeah, I think I think um, that the martial art is still martial art, but if the person who trains himself, I could see that that it should have that excellent um, yeah, discipline and respect. Yeah. But I think sometimes I could feel that the respect that the uh, not strong like before. Yeah. And much like itself is about the person who, who trained it and then how the person uh, express himself to be the best he can be. So the martial art is always there for you yeah. to take, to learn. So most importantly, martial art teaches you to be a champion in life. Yeah. Okay, not just about how I can kick harder and yeah. punch harder, but it's good mental discipline. Yeah. So yeah, the, uh, the martial art changed a lot. Mm -hmm. However, it's good to see that some uh, Muay Thai being quite uh, popular now, and when it came in 1977. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's 42, this year 42 years now. Wow. And Muay Thai now been taught a lot all over the country. And, uh, it's because yeah. you were one of the first four yeah. uh, Thai masters, because there's been confusion, mm -hmm. hasn't there? Yeah, with Grandmaster Tadu, Grandmaster Woody, uh, Grandmaster Crins, and, uh, and myself, and, uh, also, and uh, Master A, and uh, his uh, Grandmaster Tadu brother. And they are she had to master eight, so yeah. Like that, yeah. And he's he's uh, excellent. And I treat him like my brother, by the way. Yeah. And he's a uh, my uh, friend brother, Master Tubby brother. Yeah. And uh, so they are the master who live in London, like a Master Bob, Master Bun Ring, uh, mm -hmm. were teaching as well. But they're not actively uh, yeah. like uh, like that we used to do. We just saw uh, teaching, do promoting, demonstration. Yeah. We just that's why the people tend to look at the three for they are more yeah. uh, Thai master. So that's why they get confused, but who else, you know, they, yeah. they are, they are so, more. Am I right that there's just now, so obviously Master Toddy um, was one of the first part to bring it over, yes. and obviously A took over from him. Yeah. Um, but there's only really yourself and A. Yes. That's yeah. out of that first kind of batch of five yeah. that are still active. Yeah, still active. So, 
But now what's, what's your it, secret to stay uh, active? Well, the, the activity is because what we do, we love it. You love it. And I love yeah. it to, to, to do it, and then it's the way of life, and that's yeah. why we enjoy. I can easily retire now, but I don't. I want to carry on teaching. Yeah live the legacy of what I've been teaching to the student. Mm -hmm. The student can follow through many years to come. Yeah. And it's not so bad. I always say to my, even I got many uh, fighters, I say to them, mm -hmm. your fighting career will over soon. Yeah. Okay, that being a champion in life in, in the ring. But champion in life is until the day you die. So yeah. let train Muay Thai and martial arts to be uh, the way of life. And therefore you can carry on for many years to come. Yeah. And uh, say that, there are now there are Thai, many Thai champions from Thailand come to live in Newcastle, in yeah. uh, London, Birmingham, like uh, uh, Khu Pan Pet, Khu Thai, mm -hmm. and uh, Khu Yod Pet. These are many Thai champions, they are very, very good. And now new generation come forward. I met uh, many of them now yeah. and who live in London, Birmingham, and uh, they, are, they are very good. Yeah. They, they, they've been fighting, but I could see that some of them are really excellent with teaching. So Muay Thai now going to be mm -hmm. uh, stronger because it bring now a new generation yep. to follow the you know, footstep that what we used to do before. And it, it must be pretty exciting now that Muay Thai has reached some Olympic status as well. Yeah, for that's you, right. I mean, that's right. from being one of the first to bring it into the oh, UK yeah. and then seeing the growth, um, are you you must be excited about what's going to come. Oh yeah, the next yeah. generation. Well, let's say the next generation hope when become the you know the Olympic sport, it's a really good uh, show, good uh, match event. Mm -hmm. people can see around the world that Muay Thai is yeah. about, not just about fighting yourself, it's about teaching, about preparation, about discipline. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is very important for mental side. Is that something though that's more um, linked into Thai culture as well? Yes. Because I know in, um, when I visited Thailand to train and, and compete over there, um, it was very different to the UK, uh, very yeah. different to British culture. Yeah. Um, everyone was so calm and so... Yeah. Uh, you can see polite. many, many good Thai fighters, Thai champion, and Thai people. They tend to relax. They call you know, my pen ride. I mean, take it easy, enjoy yeah. life. And rather, uh, my word always say that a lot of people seem to busy to die, but not busy to live. Yes. And so in in Thai culture, he said, right, I'm gonna live, enjoy life, and then even doing fighting. Thai fighters smile because this is part yeah. of the game, and then they enjoy it rather than say, I'm gonna kill them and. Yeah. And they're really tense every moment. So Thai people that have got the uh, good quality in them, that they quite enjoy life yeah. and they're happy what they do. Yeah. Okay. And you can see smiling is important. <laughs> yeah. Is. Um, yeah. Have you got any advice to give to new students who may want to start martial arts? Yeah. Uh, if you want to train the Muay Thai and martial arts, see, I would say martial arts. Muay Thai is part of the martial arts. If you want to train, take up with the martial arts. It is really good for physically and mentally and mentally always come first so I, I want to give you advice to this make sure you follow three d's what is three d's discipline mm -hmm. dedication and determination discipline whether you like it or the rain or sunshine you keep on the quality and practicing make sure that become really good habit to do it mm -hmm. dedication means dedicate devote yourself to do it to make sure to be the best you can be, and uh, make sure you uh, reallocate your time mm -hmm. properly. Okay, you got to work, but make sure you find time for training. Determination, don't just do Mr. or Mrs. Neary there, mm -hmm. but get there and do it to become, you know, a best uh, martial artist that you can be. Mm -hmm. If you want to train for physically and mentally, to be really healthy, physically and mm -hmm. mentally. But you want to be the sport person, Okay, then you want to be a champion. Okay, but again, after you be a champion, you can have a career over. So yeah. you want to be a champion in life. Yeah. That makes sense. So hopefully so that. Tra transferring the skills that you learn as a as a competitor. Yeah. To life. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. That's brilliant. Okay. Thank you, Master. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you for All right. joining us on the sofa this morning. My pleasure. Thank you. Okay.